Hey there, it's me, Laura, with Bold Notion Quilting, and I want to take a minute to show you a quick tutorial on the Bold Notion Quilting Border Buddy Retro Block Ruler. I want to show you how you can use um, the corner designs for quilting to map out some quilting without having to map it out too much, right? So what I've done is I've drawn a 45 degree line, and I'm going to utilize that 45 degree line with this 45 degree line right here to do my spacing. So if y'all have watched any of my recent ruler videos, you know that I don't love marking any more than I have to. So that's what we're gonna do today. We've kind of marked um, a guideline and then we're gonna use the lines on the ruler to see where we should stitch. So right now what I'm doing is I'm lining up that 45, it goes all the way to my corner with this 45 degree line here. And I'm lining up my first quarter inch marking line that's on the outside of the ruler right here with my edge of my square for my spacing. Okay, once it's all set up, make sure it's all even. Make my first stitch. My next one is going to be a one quarter inch echo. So I'm gonna line up the second line with my square and then keep my 45 right on the 45. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna stitch that second one. Okay. Our next line is going to be two lines marked out. So I'm gonna do is line that up with my previously stitched line on the second line in. Move over my 45, so it's on my 45 line. Double check that we're where we need to be. Come down and push, and then we're gonna do another quarter inch echo. So we're gonna line up the sides of our ruler Line up our 45. And actually, you can just line up the sides of your ruler with the sides of your stitch lines as well. Okay, and that should give you a good quarter inch. Okay, so I'm creating kind of a faux square and a square design that's kind of melting behind my piecing. The next one I believe has the same spacing. Let me just double check. We're gonna do three on that spacing. So we go to the third mark line, which means that we're stitching an inch, right? Cause it's a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. So that's three quarters inches. That looks slightly crooked. There we go. That one's an inch. The next one's going to be half an inch, and then a quarter of an inch echo should finish out our space. So at a half of an inch, we're going to use our first quarter inch line that goes all the way around our ruler on the outside. We're going to line that up with our previously stitched line, both at the top and on the side. Okay. And stitch it around. And you can see that gives us a quarter of an inch around the outside to finish up. So we're going to line up our ruler with our previously stitched line and our 45. And if for some reason it melts into the piecing a little bit, piecing can differ. Sometimes rulers slide, things happen. Then we're just gonna let it melt into what we're designing here. Now, with a ruler type puzzle like this, because I'm using, I'm using two layers of batting and it's puffy, you wanna make sure to get all the sides down. Okay, that just requires holding it down. And you can see we're right in our ditch. 
Your power position when you're using rulers is where your hand is. So it's important that you move your hand with your quilting. Okay, and now we're gonna go in and fill. You can see it's a pretty simple design concept, but you can get pretty cool designs because you've got a curved square ruler that you can use. It kind of opens up your avenues. And again, you don't have to do much to mark it. You just have the right tool for the right job. So I'm gonna fill this first half inch line with pebbles. I'm gonna speed up the remaining fill so you can watch it get done, but I'm just gonna do some kind of dot to dot clamshell type designs. <laughs> I've done two of these. You can kind of see the design. I used two layers of batting so it would be puffier and you could see more of the quilting on the black because it can be pretty difficult to see. I did a second one down here, which is where I was kind of gauging my spacing because I did another one down here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this square space. I'm gonna make one that melts into this one and into this one to complete the design. And I'll fill any space that might be left over with uh, you know, swirls or something. So that'll be fun. Thank you for joining me and watching this uh, retro block border buddy tutorial. If you don't have a retro block ruler, you can get them on boldnotionquilting.com in the ruler section. Check them out. They're super cool.